What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now if you like content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that little bell to get notifications whenever new videos come out. Now today we want to talk a little bit more about Apple Keynote and what we want to do is we want to talk about how you can actually build interactive presentations and even prototypes. Again, I feel like a broken record. This is another one of those features that is incredibly powerful, but it is incredibly hidden. So what we want to be able to do is to just show you how simple this is, but also how sophisticated and how really good looking some of these can be. Now, these are different things that I've done throughout my career. These are different prototypes, you know, that I've done for quite a long time. And you can see just how sophisticated they get. You can see the level of animation, the level of fidelity, and that this is something that you can easily take around. You can socialize it to different people. You can let them see what your vision is just in a really simple sort of way. So that's what we want to talk about today, is how to build these interactive prototypes and presentations in Keynote. Okay, so here we are back once again in Keynote. Now what I want to do today is I just want to, let's actually go through and make it, basically like this could be a prototype, it could be a presentation, we're just going to lay it out this way. And like I said, it could be whether you want to show how your design gets done or do something else like that. But what we want to start out by doing is saying, well, we want to be able to move through a number of different things. And so in this case, let's make a couple different screens. So we'll just drag these out and that way we can give ourselves a little more space. Okay. And then just to make this a little bit easier, Let's make these different colors and we'll go through and change the numbers. So now we can tell them all apart. We can just quickly go in, make those a little bit bigger so they're a little easier for everybody to read. But the idea here is that these could be different screens. These could be different slides. This can be just sort of anything that they're gonna represent. But what we're gonna to wanna to be able to do is to be able to just say, okay, look, this is going to be about where the phone is gonna be or where the screen would be. So we wanna be able to have it go one, two, three, four, easy enough. So let's take this, duplicate it out four times, grab these on the second one, put the second one in the center, third one, third one in the center, and then finally, and obviously fourth one, fourth one in the center. Now. Simple, be able to go through, put a magic move on all these so that they slide. That's a little slow, so we'll make it move a little bit faster. That feels a little bit better. Okay, so now one, two, three, four. Easy enough. Now, what we wanna be able to do is to add screen controls, which would basically be like things of saying, okay, look, what I wanna be able to do is whenever I click on the right, I want it to go to the next screen. Whenever I click on the left, I want it to go to the previous screen. So again, sounds simple enough. But so what we wanna do is let's create some boxes. And here again, so they're easy to see, let's make them a different color. For right now, we will say they are yellow. And on this first one, I just wanna put one over here on the right-hand side because when I'm on the first one, there's not a back, right? So that way on this first one and the last one, we're only gonna have one, the two in the middle will have two. Now, here comes that little secret sauce that I talked about before. So what you wanna do is whenever you have this square and we wanna use this as our trigger. So if I click on this, it's gonna to go to the next screen. And what you wanna do is to right click on that. And so the thing you wanna do is here, add link. So again, this is another one of those fun little features. And what you can see here is that I can go to a slide, a web page, or an email. So slide is what we're going to work with today. Web page would obviously be if there's something you want to reference. If there's a web page you want to talk about in the middle of a presentation, that's what you use. I don't, I don't know what email is for. I don't know why I'd want to send an email in the middle of a presentation, but it's there. I guess if this was a kiosk or something, right? So what we want to do is we want to go in and we want to pick slide. Now we'll see we have a number of different options here. And here again, you can change it up here. And they now have also added exit slideshow. So if at any point you want to be able to stop, you can do that. But I want to go to a slide. And I, here I have next, previous, first, last, last slide viewed, or slide number. So in this case, I just wanted to go to the next slide. Now the thing here is to actually have this work, and it's gonna feel a little weird, the two buttons down here, you actually don't wanna click because go to slide, if I click that, you'll see now it moved me to slide number two over here. Well, that's not actually what I wanted to do. So now if I go back, edit link, you'll see the other one is remove, 
I don't want to do that either, so all you want need to do is just click off it. And I know that doesn't make a ton of sense, but that's what you need to do. So here, let's go through, and what we're going to do is we're going to put these on these three slides here. So this one here and here, because those are all next. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is then to put previous. And so previous, do it here, move that over to that side, edit link, previous slide. Click off it again. Copy and paste, copy, paste, paste. Okay, now that's the basics of this. Now, what we want to be able to do here is to actually try and run this. Okay, now what you can see is whenever we're going to go through and do this, whenever I click on that right yellow square, it's going to take it to the next screen. And whenever I click on the other square to go back, then it's going to take me back. So again, this is a simple way to be able to do this. But coming back to here, the other thing I could do too would be to have other boxes that were in here. So the ability to say, well, you know, it wouldn't be on this first screen, but if I'm on this second screen or this third screen, okay, well, what if I want a home button? So whenever I'm here, I wanna be able to take this and resize it and we'll say there's a little button that's right there. And what I wanna do now is edit that link, have it go to slide number and have it go to one because one would theoretically be the home. So now, whenever I have it on these screens. Now I'm always gonna have a home button there. So at any point, even if I'm on the fourth screen, I can jump back to the first. So again, it gives me a little bit of a control. In a prototype, it could be here. If this was something where I was doing it in a presentation, maybe I would put it up here. So now I have it, I know if I always clicked in the right-hand corner, that would always take me back to the first screen. It's just little tips and tricks you can have in there if you want. Now, let's hit play on this again and sort of watch what happens this time. So now you can see the, the right button and the left button, those still work. But here, whenever I hit the home button, then that's gonna be the thing that's actually gonna take me back to that first screen. Okay, but the thing that you're probably saying to yourself is, Steve, like that's great, but I don't want these big yellow bars that are sitting on top of my whole deck. Well, here again, the trick that you need to do is whenever you go in and select these, just take the opacity and drop them to zero. So on all of these, now I have invisible buttons and I know the controls are there. I can explain them to somebody else or again, like if just the team wants to know that they're there, now I have these things that are all there. So again, now it's easy for me to be able to go through and control this and be able to get in and out, be able to move around and do these different things so that I actually have a controllable interactive presentation or prototype. Now, Here's one that I put a tiny bit more work into. So this is pretty much the exact same deck you saw before, right? So one, two, three, four, easy enough, but it looks different. It doesn't actually look quite the same. So what's going on here? So let's zoom out just a little bit so you can see this. So all I've did, and if you saw the Animation master class, you know that this is a trick that I like to do. There is just this transparent piece that's sitting on top of it that's masking these four pieces behind it. And all this is, is just made up of three different pieces. So I can go through and ungroup these. It's just two white squares. So you can see just two white squares there. And then this other part is just an image. And what I did was I just went in, took any sort of phone template, take whatever it is you like, take it into Photoshop and basically just knock the middle out of this. And what you can do is either save it as like a 24-bit PNG so it ha it'll save the transparent piece or just copy and paste it. That will actually work and you can bring it in here. So again, the exact same thing, except now I've hidden a big piece of this so that now it looks like, okay, well, this is on top of it. So here, let, let's hit play on this again. And again, we can just sort of see functions the exact same way, except now with that little bit of just sort of hidden piece on top of it, now it looks a little bit cleaner. I can't really see kind of the, the magic that's going on in the background. Okay, but the other thing you're gonna notice is that, well, now there are these four screens here, so what the hell are these? What I wanted to do was, again, just be able to do something. So look, if this was a prototype or if I would just want to put in interactive animation or something like that, what I did was I just added these little menu bars, right? So just this little hamburger menu that you would normally see, that's what that is right there. Well, now again, these just have a link on it that whenever it links to that, it just plays the next slide. So again, whenever we go into this, right click on it, edit link, it just goes to the next slide. So here again, if I pull this out of the way and if I select this, what you can see is that this menu that you can see here in this screen 
is just sitting off to the side here, and that the magic move just simply takes it and gets it to slide in. Simple enough. But then the other thing I did was a little bit of a trick, so that also two of the bars in the hamburger menu slide over and make the X, so it's the close button. You know, again, this is sort of like the animation trick that everybody likes to do, and so it just simply emulates that, and it's just simple enough to be able to do that. So what happens here? is that then the menu, whenever I go in and do this and edit link, this goes back to the first slide. So each one of these, that's all it does, is the, if I click on this menu here, it goes back to two. This one in six goes back to five, in eight goes back to seven. So now I can, it looks like I can open and close this menu anywhere on any one of these slides so I can get this interactivity. And now, just like before, the other thing that you can see is that little gold circle, gold square that I had, I turned that into a home icon. So it just looks a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. So here, now the exact same principle, tiny bit more work, a little bit more thought to be able to go through and again, just sort of put the actions in here, gets us again, a, a pretty nice interactive, you know, really quick, again, what's it been? Just a couple minutes for us to get to something that actually works and we can test out the motion of it. So let's hit play on this. Okay, and now here again, you can see, you can change screens. I can open the menu can close the menu, can do these different things and be able to kind of go through this whole thing. You know, at some point I can hit home and go back to the beginning, but that's all this is, is this just really nice, simple, clean way of working. And it makes it as a really nice, easy way for me to be able to do this stuff. Well, hopefully that was helpful. And like I said, it, it's such a simple thing. And once you know how to do it and once you see it, this is another one of those tools that's incredibly useful and incredibly powerful for you to be able to have in your portfolio of little tips and tricks and things to do. Now remember, if you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this whenever they come out. And again, if you like it, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments down below and I'll get back to everybody I can with that. But hey, hopefully you had a little bit of fun, hopefully you learned something, and as always, stay crazy.